So my son Zane was born um, in 2010, and he was born perfect. Everything about him, um, every milestone, he was just amazing and beautiful, and he still is. But around the age of two, he started regressing into autism. It was devastating um, emotionally and shocking and confusing uh, for myself and my husband to, um, to kind of go through that and the whole time try to understand this very mysterious disorder. What I've learned is that there's just so much, so much more um, that we could have been doing and could have done to possibly prevent his outcome. And I've also learned that some of the things that we were doing um, probably enabled him to have a better chance uh, at improving and having, having a healthy and happy life. And there's just so much parents don't know nowadays, even myself. You know, I'm the CEO and founder of an organic baby food company, and Zane's eaten organic food since he started eating. Um, but I didn't, I didn't know that I should test my drinking water. Um, and it turns out there was lead in it. And I, I didn't know so many things that I wish I had known. I wish someone had given me the Healthy Child Guide, because I would have read it and I would have done everything on it. All the information in the Healthy Child Guide is absolutely critical, absolutely critical in making sure you're doing everything you can for your child to live its, his or her fullest potential. In the process, I've learned so much about it that I feel like it's my obligation and my duty to share it with others and to really do everything in my power to prevent this from happening to other families and other children. I know that it can be a little overwhelming at times, but let me tell you that it is worth doing that now than spending a lifetime of doing it for someone else and regretting that you hadn't.